Welcome guys to another episode of Boom Arena and today we're gonna be playing some machine guns. So basically, recently I figured that a player uh, called Hunter, who uh, certainly got inspired by a uh, Hunter CR, I would uh, try to at least guess, um, played some, okay, played some machine guns, so I've decided, well, why why don't I test that theory if this deck is good or not? So uh, here we are. I'm gonna be testing it. Uh, and with that short intro out of the way, I'm gonna be playing some Boom Arena. Also, my machine gun will connect. And I'm gonna be playing against Steelbait and against a, a player whose name is just Emoji. And he is actually 2500 miles, almost 2600. So definitely a tough opponent, we are gonna see if uh, if we're gonna get a good matchup against him, as always. He's gonna be playing some mirror bait, as we probably could have seen already. He mirrored his previous phone kick, so definitely not an easiest matchup, but at the same time, I think definitely winnable. My opponent will be playing Swordsman in order to uh, try to attack a bit. I'm gonna actually play the Bomber. I expected him to go for the... Um, for the phone Kag, but he didn't, so uh, I kinda overcommitted with that play. He's gonna actually protect his Bomb Girl at the bridge, which is uh, a play. I'm gonna name it that way. And so far we're gonna just uh, enter this helmet position at the bridge. I'm gonna... Yeah, he's gonna predict my machine gun. I'm gonna play uh, phone hunt just to kill his cannon. I'm gonna play machine gun myself. And right now we're gonna just start hammering at each other. He's gonna play missile against... Uh, against my forces, which is gonna be very interesting. Uh, and uh, also, he's gonna be having missiles, so that's gonna complicate things a bit, since I'm, I'll am i have to be way more careful about playing my pushes. He's gonna play Swordsman to block the machine gun, obviously that means that I'm not gonna be getting any damage from this machine gun, but uh, that also means that I'm gonna be uh, very swiftly trying to uh, cycle to another machine gun. I think I'm gonna actually play Fire Tiny. Because even though it's the currently the best uh, way of dealing uh, with the with the thingy with the uh, with the phone hack, at the same time it also uh, wait uh, I didn't kill this bomb girl. Uh, wait a second. Okay, I I messed this bomb girl up. And that's gonna be a very problematic situation since right now I kinda have to get a lock. And right now he may have messed things up because I'm gonna try to get a lock myself. Okay, he's gonna get a missile unfortunately. But misses the swordsman which is very huge. I'm gonna go for one more machine gun. Very, very tense position. He's gonna go for a bomb girl which is absolutely not perfect for me and yeah he's gonna unfortunately win this game even though I had a very good matchup I kinda allowed him to have too much fun and my opponent will be taking the dub in the game number one uh, we're gonna try this deck in another game also I feel like uh, flying bomb is better in this matchup but we opt to play poison because it's gonna be more useful against like heavier decks where you want this spell that will control the board instead of like just one hits your opponent's troops. So yeah, that's gonna be an unfortunate game number one. Uh, we're starting with the loss, but we're gonna jump to the game number two and try to rebounce. And the next game of today's video will be against a, a zero medal player with a very controversial nickname. I don't know if I'm allowed to actually uh, say it, but it is a nickname for sure. And he actually allows my machine gun to connect uh, at, the at the start of the game, which is obviously very convenient for me. And unfortunately, I won't be able to deal well with this scout horde. Obviously, I would love to have a rolling steel, but my opponent, op I mean, uh, the creator of this deck, with who is Hunter, opts to uh, play uh, some bullets. 
instead of that, which is an interesting choice, but at the same time I understand that uh, some aerial uh, spam decks can be very annoying, as well as sometimes you just want to get these bullets across the map, trying to counter something fast, while Rolling Steel is very good at fighting at the bridge, uh, where the machine guns usually are being placed. Uh, uh, bullets can uh, like uh, fight faster, which is um, definitely an advantage of this choice of this spell. My opponent would be actually opting to play a Dark Knight, which is uh, a choice definitely. Uh, I don't think just uh, if the best one. I'm gonna play Far Tiny just to pre prevent my uh, swordsman from taking a major damage from this Dark Knight. I feel like I'm gonna go just for the machine gun since he just doesn't have a general uh, in his cycle, he doesn't have a machine gun, I mean a skeleton horde because he just played it, he doesn't have balloon but if he, even if he did he would be in a, a lot of trouble and the tower goes down so against this opponent we're gonna actually score a very quick 1-0 and after that obviously the machine gun is not the deck uh, with which you go for very uh, swift uh, free stars so we will have to uh, plan some um, plan some uh, defenses and basically try to uh, win this game because uh, nothing is 100% uh, sure. Although I feel like very I'm very comfortable with uh, playing this position. Even my opponent realizes that I'm very comfortable and that he resigns the game uh, from this position. So yeah, I'm not gonna bother you. Well, I'm gonna be 3 starring this guy, I'm gonna just jump straight into game number 3. And another game of today's video will be against Ace Punch, who always starts very swiftly against me and probably against other people on ladder. Uh, Ice Punch is known from playing a Dark Knight and I don't really expect him to play any other deck. Uh, he's gonna be playing very aggressively, which... Uh, Always surprises me, but at this point it shouldn't be any surprise. Right now I don't have a good play, because if I play Machine Gun at the bridge and he uh, happens to have a Dark Knight, I would be instantly dead, so I kinda had to wait for his play. Now he plays Blitz and I think we have a very small time window where we okay, can avoid Dark Knight, but yeah, we won't be uh, able to avoid it right now. I'm gonna play Swordsman here, just to kite his Dark Knight. To my swordsman, uh, I should be protecting my machine gun way better because I could have gotten a lot of damage. But I think it's still enough. Uh, we've we got a damage advantage after this play, and if I were more aggressive, usually against Ice Punch you want to be aggressive because he's the aggressive player yourself. And if you don't know what you're doing, you'll usually trade better than him. So let's try to prove it in this game. I think even playing a uh, another machine gun will be a good play because he's certainly not back uh, to another Dark Knight. Okay, he's back to another Dark Knight. So kind of biting my words right here. I'm gonna do the same exact trick here, just kiting his Dark Knight uh, into my... Uh, okay, that was a very unfortunate jump. I thought this Dark Knight would just walk to the machine gun, but it didn't. Well, it happens. I'm gonna get a bomber. He, he, it, he's still forced to play something on it, which is very cool to see. Uh, yeah... I'm gonna just get a lock uh, with this machine gun and just ignore it. Obviously, he's gonna take the positive mana trade, but he will suffer a lot of damage from this one. I could have been aggressive by playing bullets, but usually against a an aggressive deck like his uh, Dark Knight bait, you don't want to be like overly aggressive. Because your opponent always can just uh, try to min-max you and if he succeeds at that, you're gonna be in a lot of trouble. So right now I'm gonna try to just win this bridge battle and if I do, we're gonna be ready to play some machine guns uh, ourselves. I'm gonna play uh, a Fire Tiny uh, just to protect my machine gun a bit and actually I don't have any idea how this Dark Knight jumped uh, to my machine gun as well because uh, yeah it unfortunately did. I'm gonna play another machine gun. I figured that uh, his deck is very weak against uh, a bomber so uh, I should be abusing it as much as uh, physically possible. Right now I'm gonna just play a uh, phone hub at the bridge 
Okay, he's gonna actually get a flying bomb against it, which is definitely not something we want to see. I'm gonna play a, another machine gun, basically hoping for some luck. Uh, I'm gonna get a kill on this and machine gun will connect and this time I'm gonna absolutely kill these skeletons because it's gonna be a nuisance for him. He actually surprised me with these stone phones, but the game is already over. I basically can just set up a defensive machine gun and he has to go into me all in because uh, he doesn't have uh, another way of coming back. I'm gonna play some uh, phone hut. He gets a blitz with his bigger, which will be a lot of damage for sure. I okay, I. I'm gonna just get bullets, I'm gonna get poison uh, soon enough and he's gonna actually try to sneak some damage which is definitely a good play but unfortunately for him it's not gonna be enough to clutch the win and we're gonna get away with this dub. Like I spent a very aggressive player, pretty much always plays something uh, at the bridge if he can and uh, you can abuse it to your advantage because his playstyle didn't change for the 8th months that I've already played uh, the games against him. So that's the tutorial how to beat 2.2k player and with that being said let's jump to the game number 4 of today's video. And another day, another bizarre name from the uh, brand new account uh, created in Boom Arena. I'm gonna be playing uh, against Funkek Poison which is... I don't know, a, a bizarre choice of spells. Maybe he's playing only spells challenge. <laughs> it appears like it, at least. So far he has played only spells against me, which will be absolutely very convenient because you cannot realistically uh, stop... Uh, okay, he, yeah, yeah, he's, he's playing all spells. I actually called it from the very beginning, which was very bizarre, but since he mirrored the blitz, I was like... Yeah, there's no shot, he's not playing only spells. And right now I'm gonna just get a machine gun on the opposite side because if I uh, were to play it with my troops, it would have gotten uh, a poison on the face, maybe other additional spells. Uh, it's just not worth it. Also, I'm gonna just protect my machine gun because like I have said, uh, he doesn't have any way of, uh, of deleting my machine gun, so I might as well. Uh, I'm I think poison deals enough, if I remember correctly, it has 217 and uh, if my memory is correct, it should be towered down and with that being said, we're gonna just keep pushing forward because uh, uh, he doesn't have the best response against the, uh, against the machine gun, so basically we're gonna just cycle it for uh, as much as we physically can. He's gonna get a flying bomb. But this machine gun still should be able to get this tower down, and it does. And right now, only Viking Tower uh, remains. I think I'm gonna actually keep the whole game in the video just for the sake of showing how to beat a people with like super random decks. Uh, and uh, all spells is definitely super random because. Uh, Obviously you don't see it on the most competitive level and for good reason, it's very weak against, the, for instance, the machine gun cycle. We've just won an effortless game and with that being said, we're gonna jump to the fifth and last game of today's video. And to end this video, we're gonna face Almeida with 92 medals and a dream to beat me while I'm playing machine gun. At, at least I hope that... Uh, he doesn't know I'm playing machine gun because it would be very tragic if my opponents were to just know my deck before queuing into the lobby and just trying to uh, brutally snipe me. Uh, I think I'm gonna just leave it as it is. I think I'm getting a good trade and since I'm getting a good trade uh, on this side I'm gonna just counter play on the opposite. My opponent will actually go for a footman which was the uh, outcome I didn't expect at all. So. My opponent, uh, I'm gonna leave him a nice play and uh, he's gonna get away with very nice start getting a damage advantage against me and so on and so forth. I'm gonna get a phone hut against these twins. I don't think it was uh, too accurate of a move. It was kinda a lazy move that kinda yeah, resets the board but at the same time uh, I really want him to show more of uh, his deck because so far I am uh, yeah, I, I've just seen twins, but like, what's the twist? If uh, that's all cards that he has, this matchup will be very simple. 
but since he has 92 medals, I expect him to have at least one plot twist in his deck. You can argue I should be cycling bullets instead of uh, instead of the poison, but at the same time I don't uh, see my opponent punishing me for this play anyway. So yeah, it doesn't really matter. I'm gonna just kite the uh, T-Rex to the stronger tower and it's not gonna even get a hit. So yeah, I'm gonna just lick a bit and then uh, I'm gonna go for a Swordsman. Right now I've retaken the damage lead, but it's like not meaning uh, anything at this point because he can always retake it back. I'm gonna play Machine Gun just to test his defenses and he's gonna be playing a uh, footman. I should be remembering that he actually has uh, this set of uh, responses. I'm gonna basically try to call my Machine Gun uh, healthy and it actually connects to the tower and basically if you want uh, one lesson how to play a Machine Gun, play Machine Gun, protect it and if it doesn't work uh, j just throw some spells at your opponent and it should uh, do the trick. I'm gonna play another machine gun. Okay, he's gonna actually play the twins, which is a good response. He's gonna get the connection. I'll be forced to play swordsman and right now, actually, uh, if he were to play footman, I would give up this machine gun. If he played a scale horn, which is cheaper alternative, but I'm gonna give up the uh, Machine gun anyway, because in my opinion it's worth protecting only if I uh, get a bomber alive uh, in the same lane. I'm gonna actually have to play bullets here. It was a very short-lived lock, maybe not even worth the bullets, but uh, well, you live, you learn. Uh, my stone force will actually uh, clean this up. I'm gonna play. Uh, okay. I'm gonna play right into his footman, which was definitely not optimal. He's gonna get a very good trade at the bridge, but I'm gonna get damage, so it's always a trade that I'm uh, welcoming to see. I think his uh, twins will actually connect to the tower, and they do, so that's gonna be a bit scary because I'll have to be very aggressive right now against his Necromancer to not spawn any unsuspecting ape. And yeah, uh, that was that was a very good play out of him kind of bringing him back into the game and right now he should be playing a uh, footman he doesn't and yeah my machine gun just locks onto his tower and that's gonna be gg's nice plate uh, i think my opponent played pretty well but had a very bad deck against what i had if i had a flying bomb i should be able to just win straight away because all it takes for me is to predict one set of footmen and i instantly win uh, but Poison, like I've said, is good against like decks, I would say, Viking Bird Spam against various cemeteries, ever against various Brutes, ag especially against Brute. Like, Brute is very good response uh, deck against Machine Gun, and you actually uh, will suffer with a Flying Bomb and will absolutely thrive again uh, when you have Poison, because Poison just allows you to slow down these pushes and still damage them. It's just a very good spell to have. But on that note, I'm gonna end the episode today. I hope you guys enjoyed these today's five games. And if you did, consider subscribing to my YouTube channel. If you haven't already, I post a Boom Arena account every single day and you definitely don't want to miss uh, on that uh, knowledge that you possibly can get from them. So yeah, thanks for watching. Till the end, I'm gonna see you guys in the next episode of Boom Arena.